Does managing your parking office drive you crazy? Are you fed up with all those manual processes you have to endure? Opscom arrives on the scene with a drop-in solution, doing the work for you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Featuring an easily brandable user portal, with multilingual dashboard, Opscom will provide a self-service experience for your users with the ability to set up online payment where the money goes straight into your bank account. Even if you have just one lot to manage, join the Opscom team and be the hero of your organization. The admin portal allows you to create a completely flexible and customizable parking environment. Easily track who parks where. We can even help you end that ongoing fight between regular parkers and guest parkers. Communicate with your users right out of Opscom in bulk or one-on-one. -on -one. All that activity is stored, tracked, and can be reported on for standard analytics. Full control to maximize return on investment. In the admin portal, the menus typically follow the same organization. You can search, report, and work with data. This is where you can create lots and set up multiple time frames for the permits to be on sale. To create a lot, simply name it, decide what user types you wish to allow access to the lot, and set it to be visible to users. Simply designate a default cost, decide on the duration of the permit, monthly, yearly, etc., and then set your options. Similarly, you can configure the lot for temporary parking, where you can charge a flat rate or have an hourly breakdown for cost. Again, you can set some options for temporary parking here as well. LPR settings are easy to configure for use with mobile and static cameras. The lot will then appear as part of the list of lots. Adding permits to the lot is easy and flexible. You can enter any set of numbers you wish or add them in a range of consecutive numbers. And once permits have been added, purchasing a permit from the user portal is as easy as one, two, three. And Opscom can integrate with several payment providers. Retrieving all this stored data is easy with the powerful quick search tool that can be used to find people, vehicles, violations, financial transactions, and more. Opscom gives system owners and administrators the ability to set up roles that will grant or restrict access to information and features within Opscom. Users can be assigned multiple roles. Opscom has some standard roles pre-populated that can be edited to match your business rules. We are looking at a primary admin role. This role will allow you to create new roles and assign them to other admin users. It is typically the highest role in Opscom with full access to all features and functions. Temporary parking is a flexible solution that gives your parkers the ability to select short-term hourly, daily or long-term parking, with options that even allow the admin to give parkers temporary parking at specific times of day or days of the week. Opscom uses both cloud as well as LTE technology to access its platform. With wired and Wi-Fi connections, using the Opscom web portal, temp permits can be purchased by users or assigned by admins. Pay-by-plate can be done through integrated meters. Parkers can also purchase and manage temporary parking using text to park me as well as integrated third-party apps. All of these systems work in tandem to communicate with Opscom. Let's have a look at what registered parkers can do. Registered parkers purchase temporary parking directly from the user portal. They can also use text to park me when they have a registered phone and credit card entered in the system. Limits can be set and parkers can extend their time easily when needed. Not all parkers need to be registered with an account in Opscom. Admins can create a virtual validation for any vehicle using the Opscom validator tool for registered and non-registered users alike. The validator tool can also function in a more granular advanced mode, providing further control. The validator tool also allows for detailed validation reporting. Additionally, Opscom can integrate with pay-by-plate meters, where parkers can purchase virtual permits directly in the lots where they park.
enforcement with OPSCOM is as easy as taking a picture. We begin by capturing the license plate. Once the plate is captured, officers can view further details on the vehicle. In our example, we can see that this vehicle has one pass violation that is yet unpaid and zero warnings. There are three actions that can be taken by the officer. E-chalk the vehicle, issue a citation, or view further details. Let's perform an e-chalk on this vehicle by tapping on virtual chalk. The officer will select the location description, add optional comments, and then tap save to continue. For demonstration purposes, we'll read the plate seven minutes later. The officer will now see the time from the last chalk record displayed. We can now issue a warning or a citation by tapping on New Violation. The officer can fill in any missing information, but since this particular vehicle is already registered in the system, we will see the descriptive information that was provided by the registered user. In this example, the officer will select parked with an expired parking permit as the offense. At this point, we can save and print the ticket to place on the vehicle. The information is now stored on the handheld and is ready to sync with OPSCOM. We can either go back to the main menu and wait for the system to auto-sync at a configured time interval, or we can perform a manual sync. Tap on Synchronize Data to send new data to OPSCOM and simultaneously receive any new data from OPSCOM. It's that easy. And now the process is complete. In addition to plate search, OPSCOM can also search by permit number and have all the same functionality as a plate search. We can also search using a person's last name. OPSCOM also has the option of issuing a citation to a person rather than a vehicle.